Hello everyone, welcome back with another SPS video and today boys we are back on Warscape RSPS and today we're gonna be showcasing a bunch of new contents they've released. We're gonna be showcasing some of the new boss, we're gonna be slaying these bad boys together with the other boys and yeah, it is been a little bit of time since we've been on here this server is a semi customer sps that has a lot of custom items on it it has some unique features and effects on items and the player count is currently at 45 you're not even close to peak times so i assume the server is peaking around 65 to 70 people if you guys would like to give it a try links are in the description first things first as always we're going to be announcing the giveaway of today's video which is going to be 50 donated tokens which equals to 50 dollars if you guys would like to participate on this event make sure to like the video, comment and give me a number below, be subscribed to my channel to enter the giveaway. And I would say, let's get straight into it. One thing I love to showcase on every video when I'm doing them here and there is definitely the effects of these different scythes. So, for example, the one I've in the inventory here is the Scythe of Vitro Blood version. This one's perk is a 1 in 5 chance to recover 50% of your hit points. Another one, for example, we have right here is the Scythe of Dread, a Master Eye examine and as you can see you have a one in three chance to triple your damage and recover a hundred percent of your hit points this is my favorite one so this is like an op soul split effect on this and uh yeah that is definitely the one we're gonna be using also there are other different signs as for example the gold one this one is giving you actually cash every three or four hits which is actually pretty insane and then you also have the infernal which is actually burning them and as you can see they have a lot of different custom effects same works for a bunch of other items they have so they have a lot of creativity put into the server they also have a skill which is called tamming it's similar to uh summoning where you guys tam different monsters you get the levels higher and obviously the higher you get the higher monsters you can use i'm obviously 99 on that because i've showcased that before and i can use the freaking inferno dragon as well as the master dragon which are the best in the game and they just look freaking magnificent however they're so freaking huge that i don't like to show them and use them otherwise the full screen like of the video is literally just a dragon so um yeah you guys have to find out when you log in so the first one i'd like to showcase you i think i've showcased it before once but i would like to showcase it again is the Zalcano boss which is custom boss on here so um, as you can see you teleport into this room you do not need to do like all the different mining slash skilling uh participations in order to kill it you literally just go ahead and attack it it's a really nice group as you can stay with your friends or people on the server i've literally just yelled we have already three four people here and again it's not even close to peak time so this is a very popular boss that you guys can slay together with your friends or again people that are online all right we just killed the bad boy and let's see what we're gonna get and uh, we got a crystal shard okay not to show but if you guys click on this little uh in the right hand side on this i don't know how to call it in english but if you click on it you guys can actually go ahead and see npc drops in here you can search for example for zalcano and this bad boy is dropping a new item which is quite important for our video today so this bad boy is dropping all these items as you can see here so a bunch a bunch a bunch of items but he is also dropping the crystal shards which we need in order to sacrifice to kill the serum boss which i have never killed before we're going to shake us that in just a bit i'm just trying to find the there we go the crystal shards right there i think we got one already so i'm not sure if we get it every time we kill it but um yeah these crystal shards are important for the next thing we're going to be showcasing on the video i'm going to go ahead and kill it like a couple times with the boys and i'll see you in a bit Alrighty, so after a few kills, we got 15 shards in total already. So for the Serum Boss, you'll need 100 shards in total. I'm gonna get some from Mod Zonza, so shout out to him. And after that, with these shards, we will be able to teleport to the Serum Boss. It is a global boss, so everybody will be able to teleport in if they have 100 crystal shards. And uh, yeah, apparently it's a very hard boss, like harder than Zalcano and has much more HP. And I'm excited to see how it looks like, what items he's dropping, and I would say let's get straight into it. Alright, so here we got the drop tables of the Serum Boss. As you can see, it is dropping Blood Money, Crystal Keys, Purple Sweets. Okay, that's a bunch of common drops. Warscape, Mystery Boxes, Infernal Armor, Enhancement, and then we get into the rare items, as you can see right here. The Destruction Rapier, Defender Destruction Enhancement Kit, and then the even more rare, the very rare ones is the destruction icon, the destruction totem, and the ring of destruction. I do not think we will get one of these because we'll probably be able to kill it like once or twice. Um, but I have a bunch of uh, sweets in the inventory and maybe, maybe we get lucky. Let's try out. 
Alrighty boys, so we sacrificed all the crystals and the Saren boss just spawned right here. Uh, it's the first time actually slaying it. It looks freaking insane. It's 40,000 HP in total. And uh, yeah, it is attacking with these different shots. I've never seen this model before. It looks very, very cool. That's what I like about like Warscape. They have a lot of different bosses slash like custom NPCs, which have very cool model and attack animations. So far, it seems quite easy. It's just attacking once. It's not like a multi-attacking, so it's not too hard to slay. And uh, yeah, so shout out to this guy here. Seriu, shout out to you, my man. And okay, so apparently he has a multi-attack as well, which was just uh, used. But if you protect Mage, he seems to be... Quite easy to slay. Alrighty, we've just laid it. A nice death animation as well. And I think we did get 10 crystal keys for this one. Not too shabby. Again, the best items you're looking for are the destruction pieces. And I've just realized that we actually have to sacrifice them. I thought when we teleport in, we're gonna like lose 100 shards. But uh, apparently you have to walk to this guy here. It's like a, like a kind of like, uh, I don't know, you guys just sacrifice them together and as you can see we can like do this for the boys and just sacrifice enough of these bad boys and uh yeah so the serum boss is up now and we can teleport back and whenever you hit exactly 100 the boss spawns and you can teleport so i'm gonna do a couple here for the boys uh also so we can showcase the loot and let's go i really like the theme behind it where you guys like even like everybody else will be able to join so it's not just like the, the high-end people with really good gear and having the shards can actually join it. Everybody else can join as well because you need to sacrifice the shards whenever you want to kill this boss. Anybody else can join as well. And I really like that. So we're going to go ahead and get a few kills and I'm going to show you the loot after each kill. Let's go. All right, next kill coming in. And we did get some blood runes. Alrighty, boys. Next kill completed. We got 102 fire arrows. We definitely taking that. Instead of show showcasing every uh, loot, I'm just gonna see you after another maybe three kills so we can see a loot of uh, five kills. Let's go. All right, boys, let's kill number five and uh, we got some uh, bones. So we got three times this drop right here. As you can see, the fire arrows, we got uh, blood runes, we got some crystal keys, and we also got some icy dragon bones. Not too shabby. So overall, I think this could be a very good, like, event also in this server. So, like, this has some really good potential community-wise. And uh, it's very chill when you have a couple people killing it as well. It's very, very good. And, yeah, the last thing I want to show you of the latest update is some Afghan content. And who of you doesn't love to literally be AFK and make a freaking bank? So the system, the way it's called, it's like an Af AFK blood coin pile in the thiefing area and what we want to do is just literally click once on it and we're gonna be collecting these blood coins now as you can see there are already a couple of people asking so that's pretty neat and oh we need a blood pickaxe in order to do that okay so if we don't have a blood pickaxe we will not be able to do it as you can see these guys have already grinded it there's also the uh this bad boy right here which is the coin pile where we can steal cash from it that is a 99 thiefing quite for that but, um, yeah, let me see if I can find the blood pickaxe. All right, big, big shout out to Mr. Zach. He gave me these blood pickaxe to showcase really quick the Afghan. He's Afghan at this tree here, the Majestic Tree, which is also an Afghan one. I'm going to showcase that in just a minute. Uh, the most particular one, in my opinion, is the blood one. So we will go ahead and do that. And I've just realized we need 90 mining as well, which we do not have rip on that. Thankfully, the problem is solved. We get 99 in the, uh, pick, uh, in pickaxe, right? 99 in mining, so we can do that right now. Uh, I low-key want to see if we get blood coins or blood money. So let me bank that really quick. And as you can see, we're getting a blood money for each take, bro. We're also getting 7,000 mining XP. That is a freaking OP right there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out also the other off places. So as we have the home area right here, if you run all the way west, I've showcased that in the server too in the, my first ever video I did on Warscape. On here, we have a beautiful skilling area, as you can see here. And in here, there's also these beautiful off places introduced. As for example, this majestic tree. I'm going to give first Zach his blunt pickaxe back. 
And then we're gonna try out this uh, tree here. And speaking of the dragon, here is, for example, one of these dragons literally been spawned by thing alone. Holy shit, boys. That is one of the dragons I was talking about. And I'm not able to do it because we actually need uh, a few requirements. But it's not a big deal. I just would like to know what we actually can get from it. And yeah, so you can get stackable food healing 29, which is super OP. And you also get a good source of blood money and skilling poise. Plus, you have occasionally the bond of luck, which increases your drop rate chance by 1% stackable 40. That is freaking OP, dude. So definitely make sure to take advantage of these while being at work, while sleeping, while whatever you're doing and you can't play. Feel free to use these off plays, as you can see. Um, yeah, they are quite OP. And yeah, I'm gonna be wrapping up the video right here. I'm a big fan of the brand new boss safe release. I like the idea with the shards where everybody can contribute towards spawning it and being able to kill all together, regardless of how many shards you've uh, provided towards the spawn. And yeah, that's it for now today, boys. Make sure to like the video, comment, and give me a normal, be subscribed to my channel, and the giveaway. And I'll see you tomorrow with the next video. Thanks for watching, boys. Have a great day, and peace out.